Okay, hello people out there, this is Michael Toon F. Juges, and this is Pokemon Hargold Playthrough Part 9. Oh boy, it's been a while since I recorded anything. Well, actually, I just finished recording the Londoris event for, um, Pokemon Black, but... Before this, I'm... It's like halfway through July. Anyway... Halfway through July really doesn't tell you anything. Anyway... Uh, okay, so, by the way, once you, um, once you fall down that ledge outside, um, this room down here, in the lighthouse, alright, so maybe it's not that room, maybe it's, um, once you fall down this ledge to down here, it's impossible to get out until you get to the top of the lighthouse, so, if you decide you need to go to the Pokemon Center when you're in here, when you're in this part of the lighthouse, well, it's a little bit too late for that. Anyway, let's see. You. Well, this is certainly an unusual place for Cameron the Photographer. I'm always running into him. He only appears in different places at certain uh, days of the week, but I'm always running into him, it seems. Anyway, I like how you can't say, um... Java's face because he's standing right behind me. Anyway, what a nice picture. Yeah, except you left out someone. Um, alright. You, Sailor, what's your face? Certainly. Okay, so I realize I probably could have, um, taken care of all those Matop with, um, Ichimel Shadow Ball, but since they didn't, like, attack me or anything for, like, five turns. But, better safe than sorry. Alright, I think up here, yeah, this is, um, this is the end of the path up here of the lighthouse. Jasmine! Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's, um... I do wish I could have uh, had a chance to heal between videos, but... Oh, well. Super potion right there in the corner. You can come up with this elevator here. I don't remember if I showed it or not in the last part. But if you come up with this ele elevator here, right from the, um... As soon as you enter the lighthouse, you'll find that you can't get into that room with, uh... Ampharos and Jasmine since it's kind of got a closed door and whatever, so you gotta go back down and climb up, but anyway, it's not that bad, it's a good experience. Anyway... Olivine City, alright, so now I think, um... I should probably... Uh... Yes. Because I don't weigh that much. That's surprising. Kelly has pointed out that I'm using a trash can with a binder over it as a chair. Yeah. Anyway, I really should um, go heal, go run some errands at the Pokemon, and then there is another errand that I have to do um, off camera for another part of recording for um, Pokemon Heart Gold. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I finally finished all that. Um, Let's see. 
It appears to be a camera or someone also here, although I don't know. Yeah, this is a um, normal NPC. Um, I think I mentioned before there is a weak DA sibling that likes to hang out on the beach over there. Uh, something like that. This guy! Wow, they're doing a lot of construction on Jodo, aren't they? Yeah, let's do that. I'll be here until forever because that guy doesn't go away until I've gotten a certain point in the um, story. Anyway, that is the battle frontier. The, um, your usual battle tower with, like, stuff that you can win your, like, focus sashes and stuff from with battle points. And anyway, um, I thought I'd make a video about that later. So, now for the water routes. The main water routes in Jodo are... This big section, routes 40 and 41, um, a lot of swimmers, people, a lot of tentacruel, a lot of magikarp, stuff like that. Where's my repels? So yeah, I think this, um, video will be mostly just sped up battling people because that's mostly what this routes are. These routes, never mind. Alright. Ah, oh, nice try, Eevee. Stupid critical hits. Anyway, uh, alright. I like the surf theme in this game. You! Maybe. No, I'm going to the Seafoam Islands. What's with all these criticals? Yes, you did lose that one. Uh, the hacks are not ending, apparently. Remembering Morty's gym. Alright, Team 88 Pluck, and I believe underneath this, you can hit the A button and find a hyper potion. Yeah, an item on top of an item, that's unusual. There's no reason for me to remember this, but I think I uh, said something about that item underneath an item in the. Uh, in this fucking cave and looking for a Kabali and there was something like that. Okay, yeah, you did lose. Uh, I remember the British details. I like how uh, you see a lot of trainers in this game that have um, starters from Kanto. I like how you see wild Pokemon here that are higher level than the trainers. Anyway, you! Mm-hmm. Like that tentacle I just fought?
Okay. So, no, apparently not like that wild tentacle I just fought. Anyway, this is um, a fairly big route here, though. There is a number of ways you can go around rocks and the world and whatnot. Um, sometimes you will come back here, like, months later, and then find that you still haven't beaten all the trainers. First, I did not ask you to take me on. Second, your tentacruel should not be a tentacruel until level 30. Third, I don't remember. Fourth, I'm not getting in the water right now because I just don't like getting in the water. Uh, never thought I'd actually use Flash again. Oh well. Let's not talk about underleveled Pokemon for the rest of this video, shall we? You, what do you have? A level 2 dra uh, Dragonite? Then again, there is a certain storyline thing that apparently is causing Pokemon to evolve over there. But, but even so, alright. I don't want to see any more level 20 Seekings, you hear me? Alright, you. Something just popped up on my computer, apparently. Okay. Well, my team's gotten a little bit beat up here. Um, alright. So, Eevee, knock it off. Ah, oh, this is a dead end. No, no, wait. It looks like I can get through there, there. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this trainer, and then... Um, I think after that I can get to Seenwood.
Okay, so uh, Ian. No, not Super Scrummery. Ian with an uh, I. Uh, where am I here? A level 22 tentacle in the wild? Well, that's unusual. Can I bother to cast this thing? Nah. I selected the wrong button. That's better. Alright, so... Alright, sneaking past you... Um, this now is Cianwood City. Let's see... Ah, uh, the battery in this camera is so bad. Alright, so... Um, healing up a little bit and returning to recording stuff for video of playthrough a week later. Do I have a rappel on? No, I did not. Seriously, I recorded a little part of the Glitter Lighthouse, Route 41 and 42, and then the batteries died. It was fully charged at the beginning of that. Anyway, really. Okay, evasion news, yeah. Alright. Have to get the stylus, sorry about that. Um, let's see, so if you think I'm elegant riding my Pokemon, does that mean you think Gyarados is elegant? Wow. Yeah, you can have Eevee, because Eevee can... Surf you back to uh, somewhere. Um, okay, so, you didn't win against me, so I don't have to worry about giving you Eevee to surf back, because Eevee can definitely do that. I don't know. I don't even know if Eevee can learn surf. Anyway, if anyone was wondering about Splash, I was trying to see if I could hurt myself with confusion while using Splash. Um, I didn't get an answer. 
for better or for worse. Um, did I fight you already? Yeah. Um, I think this should be back in a loop where, you know, I've been here already. So, alright, knocking out the water roots in um, one video. I thought there were a few more trainers here, but oh well. So, that's it for this part of Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough. So, rate, comment, subscribe, watch the next part. Please don't run into a wild battle. Okay, thank you before getting a bucket of And, see you later.